Hello everyone and welcome to my May gig vlog. God, I'm going to be saying that every month. Can't believe it's May already. So, more importantly though, yesterday was my birthday. Woo! I officially turned 21 again because I turn 21 every year. Today though, we, it's a bit of a, today's a little bit of a kind of last minute but not last minute so this is a gig that i've kind of had in my i've had on my radar that i've wanted to go to for a while but i had no one to go with and because i had such a busy day yesterday for my birthday i was kind of all a bit tired today and i was like you know what if i miss this gig okay but i need a sign to come <laughs> to go to this gig and it came in the form of a person who i met who came up for my birthday night last week called charlotte found out that we don't actually live too far from each other which is a fucking miracle and so i said to her i was like do you want to just come to this gig tonight and she was like yeah sure so i got ready we got our tickets and i'm gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna go to birmingham for dead by april <laughs> now some people might be like, hmm, I might know that name. Dead by April were going for fucking years. And I actually first heard them, like, I think they came out in, like, maybe 2009. And I definitely heard them in, like, 2009, 2010, 2011, those, that was, those kind of two years. And they're very kind of, like, bah. when I first heard them, I kind of described them as kill switch engage light. <laughs> And if you kind of listen to them, I don't know, I don't know if anyone else kind of notices it. But anyway, and I've been kind of following them for like many, many years. They are from Europe and I can't remember where they are from in Europe. And they rarely come to the UK. They haven't done many tours in the UK. I have been lucky enough to see them before because I saw them in 2018 down in London because that's the only date they had. I went with um, an, um, another friend of mine like many years ago. And also two bands played to that show, which first one was Siamese which I don't remember because it was really weird because I only realised when I looked at the, I looked at the ticket for it. And I think the reason was is because I was just too fucking drunk because <laughs> I had quite a few pints that night and I just don't remember them. But then the other one was The City Is Ours as well, also supported, which is kind of mental because fast forward a few years, I've now photographed both bands and I know, and I now know people in both of those bands, which is so weird, so weird. But anyway, we're going to Dead by April today. I'm already... I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. And then, yeah. And that's where I'm going to take this camera out of. I'm going to just take my phone. Because the asylum can sometimes be a bit funny. Like, I've been before with my little rucksack. And they've gone, I need to go put that into the cloakroom. But then, but I don't, like, they're usually fine with, like, my camera gear. But I'm just, it just, they, I don't know what their bag policy is. So I'm taking a small bag with me. I'm going to take this camera and see if I can sneak it in. Well, not really sneak it in. Because I technically should, should be allowed it. We're gonna we're gonna go. Uh, very long intro, but we're gonna head off in a little bit to go pick up Charlotte, and then we can go to Birmingham. Two hours later. almost a week I think yeah almost a week since Dead by April I didn't really vlog much at Dead by April um I was with a new friend I, I didn't really know if she wanted to be in the vlog I didn't really kind of check with her so I kind of just filmed um little bits of the show just to kind of double check on what I, just just kind of let you guys know what actually happened so Charlotte came kind of a little bit last minute and I went and picked her up and we we went up there we got there in time for the the, the main support called self-destruction i think apparently i follow them on spotify completely didn't realize until they play like one song and i was like oh i recognize this dead by april though were absolutely amazing uh i've seen them like once before put on an absolutely great show really really enjoyed them really 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 happy that i went and so happy about it and then dead by april finished about 10 o'clock 
I then we went up because we were basic. We were at the asylum, and then upstairs, I went up to see Overthrown because they were playing a show upstairs. And unfortunately, I missed like all the show. But I was like, oh, let's see if we can sneak in because normally with smaller shows, they kind of basically shut the door at like after the headline bang, soon after the headline bang, come on. So you can basically just go in for free because they're just like, yeah, well, whoever can come in. So we kind of went and did that. And then we watched Overthrow and, and they put on a fucking smash and set. It was good. I went and said hi to them as well afterwards. And yeah, really, really good. Had a really good time. But today, today, we have a gig. Another gig, obviously. This is a gig vlog. We are off to see In Visions in an earth caller in Bristol. And they're playing at The Exchange. I keep thinking they're playing Rough Trade, but I think that I'm getting it confused with the last time Envision played. And last time Envision played Bristol, I think it was I think it was last time they played Rough Trade. But they're playing the Exchange. Gotta remember that. <laughs> and also, uh, my friend Pierce has banned uh, Novella, Novella, Novella. I think some I can't pronounce it. Uh, they're playing as well, and I finally have twisted Pierce's arm enough so that they will pay me for my photography. So I am I'm going to I was going down anyway, but they should be paying me. Fingers crossed for my photography which I'm really, really excited for. Um, I'm looking forward to actually seeing him play live because I haven't seen him play live with a band in many, many years. So, you know, support your mates and all that. It will be good. I'm looking forward to this one. But we have two more shows this week, which I'm really looking forward to because uh, we've got Rory tomorrow, which I'm like, ah, I'm so excited for. But I'm, I'm going to be seeing Dayseeker on Sunday. I'm photographing and I'm like, yes. Because in all honesty, I've been feeling a little meh about my gig photography for the last like few months. I've hit like a massive... <sighs> say like a creative ditch and I wouldn't exactly say creative ditch it's just I've just felt like what I'm shooting just is shit and I'm just not happy with it all um so I'm hoping like that these turn out all right <laughs> I need to look back over the ones that I've already done and I need to actually upload stuff to my social media because I've barely uploaded anything yeah but yeah I'm looking forward to it we're gonna have fun and yeah, it's going to be a good, hopefully going to be a good day. It's really sunny as well today, which I'm looking forward to. So it means sunglasses to drive down to Bristol. But we are leaving in a little bit. Um, I'll make sure I get my little parking by the, by, by the exchange. We are definitely at the exchange. I don't know why I keep thinking we're rough trade. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, I've been rambling enough, so let's get going. Right, I made it to Bristol. Didn't shit myself in the car, so that's a plus. Whew. Right, let's head over to the exchange. Hello! It's a lovely day today, isn't it? Yay! You okay? I'm in a lot of pain. Oh no. I drove down in a lot of pain. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I'm still alive, but still. Spike. <laughs> Testing, check, check, check. Rawr. Check, check. One, two, check. We've finished with Envisions tonight. That was a very, very good show. I had a lot of fun. And we're now gonna head home. And I've always, as always, give a mark a lift. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for Rory. Good morning. So today I'm off to see Rory. I started listening to Little Rory last year and she was like my most like listened to artist on Spotify last year. So I was like, I better go see her on tour. 
I'm off to this one on my wantsome because no one else I know got tickets. So yeah, um, I'm going to be on my own for this one, which I'm a little bit nervous about. I'm going to definitely be anxious. But we're going to go and we're going to enjoy it. Yeah, and I don't know who this port acts are, so this is going to be fun. So for reference, here is my outfit. I've got a little bit of cute, but kind of pop punk, I think. I don't know. I could definitely gone cute though. I've made it to Bristol. I managed to get parking the same place that I always try and get parking in, so I'm quite happy about that. But there's like a massive, like the show tonight is sold out. Uh, it's so weird seeing like a massive fucking queue for the exchange. But normally we can go in early and go to like the bar and stuff because I think there are two gigs there tonight. Uh, one in the main room and one down, one in the basement. So, like, I'm not sure if I could just go in and get a drink. <laughs> or that's like just for the door. But we shall see. Um, I'm going to put my shoes on and head over now. <laughs> fucking fantastic i honestly one of my favorite shows of the year so far definitely getting easily into top 10 rory was absolutely amazing live she pretty much paid like her back catalog I think the only one she didn't play was fuck fame but oh my god it was really really good so much fun i did buy a t-shirt i don't normally buy merch anymore but i was like i need to buy a t-shirt and um <laughs> when i when i uh when i was at the merch stand i got um rory came out um to do a meet and greet and um i got stuck um in the queue for the meet and greet i like i'm not fussed about meeting like bands and stuff like that it doesn't bother me um <laughs> but i got stuck in the queue and i couldn't get out and i was like i just walked up and i was like hi it was a really good show i have no idea because i wasn't expecting to like be doing this but i got a picture um and she's she was absolutely fucking lovely like absolutely lovely um also as well uh someone who i've known for fucking years is their tour manager and i kept seeing him and i was like i think that's max i think that's max and then it was at the end that he was like oh my god Serena. and then we, i was just, just chatting with him. <laughs> we were always doing a meet and greet i was just chatting with him <laughs> it was really fucking good and definitely like oh, i'm so happy i went like i went i ended up meeting some people as well which is really cool which i never do like i never meet people if i well with my own at shows i'm usually like moody in the corner so yeah, it was really nice to meet her. Meet, meet, make some new friends. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go home now because tomorrow I'm going urbexing. So I need to be up early because I've got to go meet my mate. We've got to like, I've got to go meet my mate somewhere who she's picking me up on the way and then taking me to somewhere to go urbexing. And then next gig is Sunday. I continue on the sad train because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be shooting Dayseeker on Sunday. 
so we're going to continue with the sad train and probably cry to get a seeker um so anyway i'll see you guys on sunday hey guys so it's time for day seeker um i'm currently just got to bristol um i am a little early but because the gig's sold out i need to make sure i get in for doors early because i don't want to miss the first band because i'm photographing so i'm doing this one for ds uh which i'm so fucking thankful for <laughs> oh god literally i was just like when it was like yes serena i'm gonna send you to do day seeker i was like yay i get to do i get to go cry i'm trying to find some monjala because i've got a mouthful on the top of my lip right bonjello wrong uh but yeah i'm a little early but i need to get in early um because the because i need to make sure i can shoot the first band and get all the bands um but yeah i'm looking forward to this i might cry it might be a teary one hope you're gonna have a lot of fun um and yeah i'm just gonna go around now i don't know like so basically on the actual event the event says the doors are half seven but then on the the fleece website it says doors are seven so i think i'm just gonna go around and wait and then see what happens so we're gonna do that now <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm not sure. I think this is probably going to be the last gig of the month. I think, probably. Uh, but today is my friend Elliot's birthday gig. Now, if we cast our minds back to May of gig vlog last year, my friend Elliot put on a birthday gig uh, for himself, um, and I went down and shot it for him. And basically, he puts on a birthday gig, and then all the kind of donation, all the all the all the ticket money goes to charity and shit like that. So he's doing that again this year for his birthday, and I'm going down and shooting it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Gonna be good. Gonna, you know, it's a really nice, lovely day. So no better time to go and stand in a very dark, sweaty room. But yeah, I got ready. I'm in outfit mode. Um, and yeah, we're gonna head down to Bristol now for the gig now i can't actually remember by the way if i actually signed off from day seeker last week i can't remember it's been too long it's been like enough days i've done i've been like editing like <gasps> so much editing <laughs> anyway um day seeker was absolutely fucking fantastic absolutely great to see them um as well and it was just and it was also great to shoot them as well i was really really happy because uh, for a lot of this year, I've been really kind of feeling a bit of shit about my photography. I've not been happy with it. And I've just been really kind of down in dumps about it and stuff. And just had like no like kind of inspiration and stuff. And kind of this month, I've kind of, I'd say, been getting my groove back. Uh, like with Envisions, like Novell being happy with my their photos, happy with Envisions-ish photos. And then just be really happy with my day seek photos and stuff. So I'm kind of, I'm feeling like I'm getting back in my groove again with photography. Um, so I'm looking forward to tonight. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some fun with that. So I've been chatting too long, so let's get to Bristol.
I need to swap my glasses over before I head off. <sighs> right, made it to Bristol. And I've just parked around the corner from um, from the Griffin, so I'm gonna walk around there now and go find Elliot and get a drink as well because I'm quite early. So, oh, there's one right opposite. Oh. But yeah, I gotta go find Elliot and then here, get a drink and stuff. <sighs> Hey all. Both of them are great. Like, I, 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 I... to my man Rob on Sound Tech to the Griffin to my lovely Serena on photography to all of you for turning up thank you I mean it's not about me in a way it's about the oh yes it is <laughs> it's about the two brilliant charities that you guys have bought tickets for to support tonight um, to Sophie Lancaster to Mermaids and everything thank you so much for turning up it's been fucking great as ever it was brilliant last year it's brilliant again um, what's about to happen might be a fucking train wreck I'm telling you that right now I feel like we should play a little game what do you mean might? yeah will is the operative word uh, so during sound check earlier on something happened that I think is about to go down with this and I'm really annoyed because there's a line captain's baseball cap on the back that I completely forgot oh, to get. Hang on, hang on. Sarah. Uh, oh, yes, we have baseball caps. Get this. Yeah, there we go. I, apparently, I've got to wear this. Um, this okay. Is, this, this is going to go horribly wrong in one way or another, but if you guys are up for a little bit of new metal from 1999, then... Uh, Can you tell what it is yet? We'll go with Break it. Stop. Um, oh, Mr. Bowman? Well, can you tell?
was fun. Yeah! yeah! Oh, it was great. It was shit, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's our tagline as a band. <laughs> shit, but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, be I believe I that... I think you've earned this. But I also believe that this is yours, so I'll give it back. So I think you've got one more, don't you? Can I follow that? No. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Good afternoon, evening, evening. Uh, basically, I'm in Bristol. We met a lot of masses. Um, I went to Slam Dog yesterday. And if you want to catch the vlog on that, go to my channel, because just words cannot describe how shit it was. But we are in Bristol, we just parked at the Cabot, and we're going heading off to the Exchange, Metal to the Masters. I've been meaning to go because I am a judge, <laughs> I just haven't been yet. So today I'm determined to go, and we're going to go. Yeah, boy. <sighs> anyway, let's go. I don't actually know who's going to be there, who I know. I know Ellie is. That's about it. <sighs> Hello. <gasps> a little raffle ticket at the end of all four competing bands tonight we will be but you will be voting for the final time this year on who should go through to the final but we haven't just got the competing bands tonight we've also got our wonderful headliners in Ambrius who will be playing for you this evening ladies and gentlemen but until then you've got four smashing bands to play so everybody raise the roof and show your love for we be villain Meg as well for making sure he didn't have to set the hounds on the laptop twice. <laughs> right, as ever, 20 minutes to go, then be back in here for the mighty Urza. See you very soon. I know you were. I know you were. I am going to wait for more people because it's not fun if you're a band who are the headline band and you're coming on in front of. To use the phrase, one man is done. Yeah, a microphone. Shout louder into the microphone! No! <laughs> Tell us some jokes. My life. Is that good enough? <laughs> Organised religion. I'm just going to do kind of two word jokes at this point. Dwarf shortage. Um, <laughs> <we're losing. laughs> you had to say that whilst I was drinking and swallowing, didn't you? God damn it, Rob. Right. Whispering into the ear. I'm four inches off. I think you need to just go off the way from that.
No, it's fine. I'm studying out. It's fine. It's all good. People will come in. Because I've got a long intro for this lot anyway, for the four reprobates that are currently on stage. Change as their current outfit. Ladies and gentlemen, from my hometown of Gloucester, give it up for your guest headliners tonight, the wonderful, the brilliant, the excellent, Abrios! Um, would you like the results now, or would you like this for to play one more song? <laughs> you might need to get a new drumstick. Give him a second whilst he gets another drumstick, so I saw him splinter it and it's walked off down there. <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. Um, looking out for number one. Well, you guys wanted one more song, so I guess they'll play one more song and then I'll come back in about five minutes or so. So, uh, you guys know what to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will probably melt for you. formalities and everything I've got to ask have you guys had a really good night Bristol have you all had a good night just before we announce who's going through the usual thank yous have to be done the first one is for the band who won this whole thing in 2015 and without them there really wouldn't be a medal to the masses anyway um, give it up for the wonderful guys in Moisey It's all well and good having people who put an event like this on, but you still need a venue to put it all in. Give it up for the exchange! <laughs> Thirdly, to the soundest guy in the room tonight, and that's because he does the sound, Mr. Rob Hill in the booth! Fourthly, give it up for your fucking selves for coming out tonight. I love how I got the least reaction out of that. Yes. And also, give it up for everyone who's played tonight for Weeby Villains! Yes. For Dog Bar Die! Yes. For Ursa! Yes. For Smilewall! Yes. And for our wonderful guest headliners, Ambria! have the experience of three years doing the new blood stage at Bloodstock but now it's time to find out who is one step closer to playing that with Bristol to the Metal to the Masses this year. Just a quick pull back of the curtain there is a wild card rule in place so for the artists who do not get through tonight there may be a chance that you still might make the final, wait for something in the next couple of days or so but just to let everybody else know as well with that being said though, the first band guaranteed a place in the Metal to the Masses Grand Final on Saturday the 24th of June are Urza! There we go, up. And your second band guaranteed a place in that very same final. Smile more! <laughs> to Weeby Villains, to Die Bart Die, you guys have been fucking brilliant. Again, wasn't an easy thing to do, wasn't an easy thing to talk about. We may well see you guys in the fire regardless. Until then, this has been Metal to the Masses Bristol. I've been your MC and host, Elliot Lever. Thank you.
Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekends. Have a safe journey home. And remember, as ever, it could always be worse. You could be a Tory. Good fucking night!